Well, I'd like to demonstrate the use of our new CST-400 strip tool for LMR 400 cable. What this tool does is replace our ST-400 Easy tool. Some of the advantages of this new tool, for one thing, instead of doing just strictly crimp connectors, there's a setting on here to do clamp connectors as well. You can set it for crimp or clamp. The biggest advantage of this tool, I feel, is that on, on the, the center connector prep, you, there's a razor that comes down and you get a nice, sharp, clean cut on your dielectric, which gives you good VSWR performance. And then finally, there's a deburr tool built into the cable, eliminating the need for, it, for an independent deburr tool. So first, as with all cable installations or connector attachments, you get a nice clean cut on the cable is always important. And again, a CCT01 is a great tool to do that. You just, it's a stainless steel blade, three or four inches back from the other cable, just apply a little bit of pressure and just spin the tool around the cable. Let the tool cut through the braid, what you end up with is a cut with a nice round cut to the cable where you're not crushing the cable. Next thing you do is you take your, your CST400 tool, side one, just as with the old tool, you just want to take a look in there and make sure there's no material stuck in that tool. Place the tool over the cable. You take your thumb, as you're turning it, you apply pressure on this, this blade cartridge and spin it around the, the cable three or four times. Just pull and you remove the material from the end and, and expose the center conductor. You flip it around the side too. You want to make sure that this, this red screw, this thumb screw, is set for crimp. And what this tool, this section of the tool does is just similar, identical to what the old tool did. You just cut right through that jacket you peel that jacket right off until it stops, until the tool spins freely. In some cases, this tool will actually pull the film right off of that center conductor. It's always, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a factor of how much adhesion there is there. But in this case, you could just want to take any type of a knife, just, just gently and you can peel that uh, a little bit of film off of the center conductor. Now, also with this tool, again, it's got the deburr tool built right into it. At this point, you just place the deburr tool just uh, back and forth a couple times just to take the burrs off. Deburr there. Get the EZ400 connector shrink boot, your ferrule, your easy connector, you slide your shrink boot over the cable, you slide your ferrule over the cable, you just take your braid and just fold it back, you don't need to comb it out. Now this point is where you'll notice the real advantage of this tool, the CST400 tool. You have a nice sharp clean cut on the dielectric and that's very important for maintaining uniform impedance and getting good VSWR performance. With this tool here, Side one works very, very well out of the bag, but that, that blade will start to dull almost immediately. And what you'll do is you'll see some, 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 some turning or some conical shape, some tapering of that dielectric. The method used by this new tool eliminates that. You see a nice, sharp, clean cut. So, you know, it's a very nice tool to have if you're working at higher frequencies. You have our EZ400 NMH-D connector, gold-plated beryllium pin, four-finger pin, no soldering needed. At this point, you just place this connector right over the cable. You, you, you're going to make contact with the center conductor, you get an electric push. That's the uh, fingers sliding over the center conductor. You bring that ferrule up, you see a little excess braid, it's telling that you put the connector on properly. Bring that ferrule back. Take a pair of scissors, and we recommend just right at the back of the connector, just trim that excess braid. You want to be careful not to trim too much braid. Right at the very back ring of the connector, bring that ferrule up once again. At this point, we have a couple different options for crimping. 
This is our HX4 crimp handle. Nice thing about this tool, it doesn't let you cheat. Once you start crimping, you have to crimp all the way down. It's a ratcheting type handle. You want to crimp right at the very back of the connector, right where the connector makes interfaces with the ferrule. Make sure the ferrule is pushed all the way up. Crimp all the way down. And very importantly at this stage, you just crimp once. You don't crimp back. You don't, you don't worry about this, this little piece of ferrule that's, that's uh, flared out here. Just crimp once. You bring the shrink boot all the way up to the back of the coupling nut. Shrink it down until glue or adhesive oozes out both ends of the, the uh, shrink boot. Thank you.